Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to Grace and Holy Trinity's New Day Prayer. We're so glad that you're here with us. Our opening sentence can be found on page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer or on the online bulletin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 23, which can be found on page 612 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Today's reading comes from the 20th chapter from the Gospel of Matthew, verses 1 through 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out at about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and, and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired at about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more. But each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I chose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? One of the beautiful and challenging things about trying to understand God's nature is the balance that God strikes between God's mercy and God's justice. And yet, it all leads to God's immense and unending love for creation. In today's readings, we hear themes of grace, justice, and mercy. And this is illustrated through the topic of employment. The employer in the parable is questioned for his mercy and grace to the workers that show up late to work at the vineyard. The workers that showed up at the start of the day can be understood as the faithful, the ones who believed from the beginning, while the workers who showed up later 
can be understood as persons coming to know a heartfelt faith in Jesus Christ at a later point. Jesus' ministry focused on the ones that were cast aside by society or the ones that showed up later. Jesus was and is a friend to the doubter, the tax collector, and the sinners. In the ninth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, we hear him explicitly say, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. We all sin by seeking our own self-interest instead of God's interest. Yet there is a path of reconciliation and redemption that God has laid out for us in the second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The Book of Common Prayer says as much. The very nature of God revealed in Jesus Christ is in fact that God is love. While we are saved by faith and given grace, it is also our responsibility to share this message of grace, mercy, and justice with others in our thoughts, words, and deeds. We continue with the prayers found on page 106 in your Book of Common Prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Um. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin, and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive, thankfully, the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. At this time, I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving, either aloud or in the silence of your heart. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go on peace, friends. <laughs>